Hello and welcome back. Today on the table I have the Acoustamass 5 Series 2 from Bose. Uh, everyone has a love-hate relationship with them. I found these on Craigslist for 180 and uh, that's high, right? But it came also with the Acoustamass 7 which um, made it to a 5 point, I guess. I don't know. There's a debate about whether these Acoustamass uh, modules are subwoofers or not. If they're, if you consider them subwoofers, you'd say they're 7.2. If you don't, I mean, I'm sorry, 5.2. And if you don't consider them a subwoofer, then, and, and they're just an, a, a base a module, then this is a uh, 5.0 system. And so then, I guess, because I'm only doing stereo today, um, this will be a 2.0 or 2.1 system, depending on how you look at it. Either way, I'm just here to uh, set them up and uh, play around with them, see how they sound. I've heard them, you know, in passing. Uh, I worked at a uh, hi-fi uh, stereo, I guess, uh, mega store back in the day called uh, the good guys out here in the Bay Area. Uh, I don't know if they were anywhere else, but um, for the short time I was there, Bose was a, a huge seller, uh, but it wasn't set up by itself in a room, right? It had a kiosk out in, in the uh, showroom, and I think there was a couple systems set up with the others, but um, we were not encouraged to demo them against other speakers. So. Uh, these are uh, the Acoustamass 5 Series 2 speakers were sold between 1990 and 1998. Uh, they have a 10 to 200 watt recommended uh, uh, handling. Uh, they're compatible with 4 to 8 ohms. And so at 180 bucks, I was able to get it down to 160. You know, it's just bark, but I, I didn't feel uh, like bargaining with the lady too much. Uh, she had said, well, if it's too difficult to sell, she would just donate them. So I thought, like, uh, if I buy them, if, if she donates them, you know, the, the chances that I would find them would be uh, pretty difficult. So uh, I figured, you know, for all the speakers that I received, two Acoustamass uh, modules and five uh, cubes along with the uh, these two little stands and I think there's two um, ceiling mounts or wall mounts that uh, she also provided and I, I think some speaker wire but I don't know where they are uh, so yeah uh, these are the systems um, I mean so these are the speakers they're a direct reflex uh, speaker design. Uh, they have something called a Syncon 2 computerized quality control and their uh, automatic system. There's an automatic system protection circuitry. Inside these base modules is a four and a quarter inch low frequency, two four and a quarter inch low frequency drivers. And inside these cubes, each one has two uh, 4.5 inch magnetically shield. Uh, what they call wide range drivers. So interesting in the wording because they're, they're not calling them full range, they're just wide range. So uh, they may not go all the way up to, uh, you know, uh, 20,000 hertz, and they may not, of course, they, they won't go all the way down, right? Because they're only 2.5s. The acoustic mass module comes in at 14 inches high, 19 inches wide, and 7.5 inches deep. Uh, so it's interesting that they're calling this deep. So I guess they want it against the wall with this port not firing out into the wall and into the room. Um, these cubes are uh, six and three eighths inches high by three and one eighths inches wide and four uh, and three fourths inches deep. All right, so. Uh, Let's take a closer look at these. They're very dusty. She, uh, of course, 
like everything else I find on Craigslist. Um, and I think one of these comes off pretty easily. Let's see. Maybe it's this one. So these are what they call the uh, red band. So this one came off easy. It looks like it has a little crack right here in the plastic. There's a little crack right there. But here's the uh, two and a half inch wide range drivers. And there's two of them. I'm sure this comes off, but I don't want to force it right now. And looking at the manual, you can uh, swivel these to make it uh, reflect and give you a wider sound stage. They said for if you're going to be placing them less than three inches apart, to actually line them up um, instead of reflecting them. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. The, these are the stands. I don't know. These are official Bose stands. It has like this tube in here. I don't know if that's something she added or it came with it. I don't know. Um, so let's put that there. So there's five of these. I don't know if these show you because there's no no stickers no stickers on these they're just uh, speaker terminal clips you know, so it's just bare wire I guess that would fit in there I don't think you can get a banana in here unless no I don't think I don't think you can but um, I can't tell which ones came with the acoustic mass 7 and which ones belong to this acoustic mass 5 so uh, let's look at the base module. So on the f what I call the front, it could be the side. You have where this little logo says uh, acoustic mass system from Bose. It has this port, and I just reached in and looks like there's a. Uh, some kind of mesh in there. Maybe to, yeah, there's like a mesh here. Let me see if I can bring it closer so the camera can see it. I'm not sure if we can see into that angle, but there's a little mesh in there, probably to keep out bugs, but it's perforated. So uh, on the bottom, you have like these little rubber feet. I don't know if this is something they added or it comes with it. And back, or what I call the back, it could be the other side. Right here, you have the label, Christmas Series 2, Direct Reflex Speaker System. Then you have your inputs and your outputs. So according to the manual that I read online, it says do not connect these little cubes directly to your amplifier because uh, it could cause damage to the speakers. So I'm, I'm guessing there must be some kind, all the uh, circuitry must be in this uh, crossover somewhere inside. All right, so those are it. These look like they may be able to take banana plugs. I'm hoping they do, because I don't want to have to switch out the speaker wires on the uh, amp I have. So uh, let's see, uh, it's a little bit dusty. I'm gonna give it a quick clean like usual and then uh, we'll hook them up and hear them out. All right.
All right, these are the Bose Acoustamass 5 Series 2 system. But you know what? Wait one second. I've always wondered, well, what would it sound like if you had two? Because, you know, it's sharing the five and a quarter, I guess. Um, the two five and a quarter base units. So I always wondered, well, what would it be like if I had two? So this is another Bose Acoustamass uh, 7, but it's not as high. And I'm thinking because it doesn't have the feet on here. Uh, so this is not the Acoustamass 7 that I purchased the system with. This is another one that I bought off. This one was off Facebook Marketplace and got it for 20 bucks. Um, and this is a Series 3 Acoustamass 5. So let me show you the label. It's a Series 3. I'm not sure if there's a huge difference in them. Still the 10 to 200 watt per channel, still four to eight ohms. Uh, says 1990 is, this has like stickiness in here. It looks like maybe some tape was pulled off and took some of the label with it. But uh, I did not see anything at the time tells you when this was made. So it's a series three, so it must have come out after the series two, of course. The labels are light colored, uh, but overall, and of course it doesn't have the, the sticky feet. But uh, I'm gonna play it with, I'm gonna demo it with, with one acoustic mass and then uh, we'll uh, connect the other one and see if there's any difference. All right, um, so this is it, the Bose acoustic mass system, acoustic mass five, series two and three, I guess. All right, we'll uh, set them up. And um, for those uh, who are returning, I want you to know I have shortened the uh, sample audio to 30 seconds each for the it's the same uh, sequence same songs tracks i guess but each of them is are, are now uh 30 seconds each instead of whatever they were previously that way uh maybe i'll be able to if i'm savvy enough with a computer i will splice in uh, the first 15 seconds with just one cruise mass and then the second 15 seconds with two and then that way you don't have to watch uh, I think it's about six minutes total so you don't have to watch the whole uh, 12 minutes it will be six minutes with switching back and forth all right uh, all right let's go to the next section
There's two questions you have to ask yourself. First is, is a Bose Acousta Mass 5 the right system for me? And if your answer is yes, then your next question is, how much bass do you really need? And will two of these Acousta Mass 5 bass modules make a difference? Well, to answer that, I would say that there is a noticeable difference in bass response, but only with certain types of music. Bass, low bass, uh, heavy type music, uh, there's a difference. But for everyday listening at moderate sound levels, I couldn't tell the difference. So, um, am I glad I have them? I guess. It was fun to review, fun to listen to. Uh, is this going to be my go-to speakers? No, not at all. It is missing some high end and, of course, some low ends. All right, thanks.